Today on WSRH Extra, it's Feature Week. We're focusing on some interesting stories about teachers and even animals at the Ridge. Plus, we have a major recovery and a new racing hawk. WSRH Extra starts, starts now. now. Welcome to this episode of WSRH Extra. I'm Shannon O'Sullivan. And I'm Alexa Koenig. Thanks for tuning in to this feature-themed episode. Imagine going through a traumatic, life-changing event at just nine years old when you're supposed to be having fun at a sleepover. For one Seminole Ridge student, this nightmare is his reality. WSRH Extra reporter Caitlin Simpson introduces us to Bryson Brandt. Everyone has a story. However, it's hard to find many similar to that of Seminole Ridge student Bryson Brandt who faced an unlikely and unfortunate event at a very young age. Well, I had a stroke when I was nine years old on Halloween day, and um, and yeah, I almost, almost died, but... Bryce and his family's entire life has been and will continue to be affected by this accident. Although Jackson Brandt, Bryce's cousin, will never forget that night. Um, well, he wasn't waking up in the morning, so we were just throwing pillows at him, and we thought it was nothing, and he just wouldn't wake up, so we called 911. When tragedy strikes, there are many questions that go through one's head. Is he going to be okay? Will he be all right? You know, will he get back to normal quick? How long will the recovery be? As a result of the stroke, Bryce had to go through years of extensive therapy in order to live a normal life. Uh, I'm still I'm still in the recovery process, but uh, it was a lot more intense when I was a little kid, and it was a lot harder because I just wanted to be a kid and um, you know play football and do all that fun stuff, but I just couldn't. I had to focus on regaining my balance and getting stronger and re-coordination and all that stuff. Bryson aspires to be a firefighter as a future career despite his setback. Oh, I want to be a firefighter like my dad and um, I mean that's all I really want to do. I mean I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> as Bryce walks down the hallways of this campus he knows some people talk and joke about him but he knows how hard he's worked just to even walk today. He does not let other people's judgment stop him from achieving his overall goals in life. For WSRH Extra, I'm Caitlin Simpson. Mr. Burrow has worked here at the Ridge since it was found 11 years ago. But on a certain day while doing his daily routine in the nest, his life changed forever. Extra reporter Ryan Hammett shows us the challenges our mathematician overcomes every day while teaching. A teacher at Seminole Ridge High School unfortunately went through a tragic medical event called Bell's Palsy. We took the time to find out what Mr. Burrow had to say about the incident. I felt my face tingle, and then I turned to say something to somebody and I slurred my words, and I sat there and I thought, oh great, I'm having a stroke. Bell's palsy has multiple symptoms that affect the physical appearance of someone. Mr. Burrow is currently fighting through those symptoms. Move the C, I still can't move my face right, see? I smile, I smile like this. When I raise my eyebrows, I look like this. The recovery time varies from different cases, but unfortunately for him, the time he was given was incorrect. It's supposed to come back within a year, but it happened November 4th, and so it doesn't look like it's gonna make it all the way back in a year. Bell's palsy can be caused by a viral infection. Bell's palsy is a condition where one side of the face can become weak or ineffective. This affects the physical appearance and motions of the individual. The kids laughed at me more, so it didn't really affect my teaching. For WSRH Extra, I'm Ryan Hammett. Seminole Ridge chemistry teacher Mr. Frick is known for his signature puns and dad jokes. However, not many students know about an interesting story that changed his life forever. WSRH Extra reporter Kayla Wright has the story. <laughs> Mr. Frick is a loved teacher here at the Ridge who is known for his funny jokes and unique personality. He is always full of interesting stories, especially when he talks about how he met his wife. Uh, having an argument with a brother in my fraternity in the, in the college bar, and uh, she walked through the doorway, and I said to my brother in the fraternity, uh, uh, later, I'm going to go uh, introduce myself to the woman I'm going to marry. In their 36 years of marriage, they had two beautiful daughters who are loved just as much as he is, but due to unfortunate events, tragedy struck the family. First day of my life was when my two daughters were hit by a drunk driver. Both daughters attended Seminole Ridge and walked the same halls we do every day, but with the accident, it made it even harder for his eldest daughter, Kelsey, to walk across the stage at graduation. Uh, they got hurt pretty bad. The car was destroyed but worse off was my kids. They'll never be the same. Not only were they physically injured, but also mentally. They both, uh, every once in a while, are affected by just 
traffic and the way people drive. Mr. Frick has always been passionate, not only with his family, but also with teaching. His lessons go far beyond the chemistry book and the classroom. Sure, I give little life's messages, little life stories, things to bring relevance into the classroom and just, just things that they can take with them through life that they might come up against that, uh, you know, they need to make some really mature decisions to keep themselves out of trouble and their friends out of trouble. Overall, we thank Mr. Frick for always being positive even after tragic life-altering events and for continuously teaching us every day. For WSRH Extra, I'm Kayla Wright. Many teachers like to keep their personal lives to themselves, but when extra reporter Michaela Hamilton does some digging on Mr. Gomez here at the Ridge, she finds an inspirational story and a struggle one man with a dream had. <laughs> Mr. Gomez, an employer here at Seminole Ridge, is what you would think of as just an average teacher in the science department. I went to FAU. Um, I had family there, so it was just a good college to go to, and uh, I really enjoyed the campus. Although Mr. Gomez was born here in America, his parents were a different case. My parents are both from Mexico. My mom is from north part of Mexico. My dad is from central Mexico. While many students struggle with financial issues, Mr. Gomez was able to pull through. So since I was the first person in my family, I was able to get a scholarship that was for first generation college goers because my parents are immigrants. And I also got Bright Futures, which helped me play for my schooling. Though he is fairly new to the school, we can all agree that he has come a long way. I've grown a lot since my first year. I've gotten so much more experience in teaching. With Mr. Gomez being able to go to college and get his degree in teaching with the help of the first generation scholarship he received, Seminole Ridge High School now has yet another amazing teacher. For WSRH Extra, I'm Michaela Hamilton. 2007 was the first graduating class here at the Ridge, but did you realize some of those students are still here? WSRH Extra reporter Ryan Pence introduces us to some teachers who graduated at the Ridge. The information that is actually being given. The Ridge has some very unique teachers, but did you know we also have teachers that were once students here? Miss Santos and Miss Brainer are two of those teachers. Uh, I was a student here for two years because I was the first graduating class. Well, I went to Wellington for my freshman and sophomore year, and then I transferred to Seminole Ridge for my junior and senior year. The Ridge teaches you to expand your education beyond high school, but how did these former Hawks get on the path of education? I would say having wonderful teachers while I was at the Ridge, um, like Mrs. Sly, Mr. Kaplan, Mr. Burrow, and Mrs. Mon. Uh, I actually never planned to be a teacher. I went to school to become a book editor. Knowing that these teachers were former Hawks, it needed to be asked, what inspired them to teach at their former high school? I love the sense of community, school spirit, and also working with my former teachers. Okay, so Seminole Ridge is an amazing school. Um, it's, in my opinion, one of the best schools in the district. They had an opening, very luckily, um, kind of last minute too, and um, I got called in for an interview, so I got very lucky, but I was very intrigued by the student body here, the community spirit, and um, it's, you know, the administration was strong. These former Hawks have taught many lessons in their time here, the most important that high school can really be the best years of your life. I'm Ryan Pence for WSRH Extra. Dr. Schoenfeld is one of the sweetest teachers here on campus. Many know him by his cute and quirky catchphrases like, this is my happy face. But not many know the adventures one small time accountant has been on. Extra reporter Melina Adu takes us through a walk of Dr. Schoenfeld's past. Everyone dreams of traveling the world one day, but a Seminole Ridge teacher has already fulfilled what others only see as a possible fragment of their future. Since I've become a teacher, I've traveled a lot. I've been to New Zealand, Australia, Spain, Italy, England, uh, Costa Rica. Before becoming a teacher, Dr. S. explored and traveled the beautiful mysteries of the world. I like looking at different cultures. Uh, I like understanding how people think and how they behave. And I like comparing different cultures with one another. As big as the world may seem, Dr. S. believes there's something small and special about each and every place he visited. We're more of the same than being different. Uh, People want the same, have the same goals for their kids. And uh, the, difference, uh, the differences that I learned were how they expressed it culturally. As Dr. S gets along with the places he's been to, he also gets along with the students in his classroom. He's really positive in the classroom. He's really enthusiastic. He um, talks a lot about where he's been and traveled. He is like pretty much close with all the students he has. He also brings like a lot of energy into the class, so it's kind of hard to get bored. 
Dr. S continues to educate students here at Seminole Ridge, all while teaching them about his experiences of the world. For WSRH Extra, I'm Melina Adu. Hidden talents set an individual apart from one another. Discovering someone's secret talent is a cool experience that can take you by surprise. WSRH Extra reporter Nadra Perez reveals one of English teacher Miss Piccarelli's talents you may not have known about. Teachers are one of the most important things in a student's educational career. And while all do a great job, Miss Piccarelli goes above and beyond. When asked why she wanted to be a teacher, this was her response. I wanted to become a teacher because I wanted to show kids that school isn't all about testing and getting good grades. It's about having fun as well. And you can have good grades and go to school and do all those things with fun. Everything there is to know about teaching and her students. But there is something really interesting most of her students don't know about her. When asked what set her apart from other teachers, she responded. Um, it's, an, it's a known fact that I'm a nerd. However, um, the nerdiest part about me is that I'm a bowler. Um, and I'm actually really good at bowling. I'm the number one female bowler in Palm Beach County. It's a little unknown, but it's a, it's a strong fact about me. I don't know. It's interesting. After finding about Ms. Figarelli's hidden talent, we spoke to her old bowling coach, who was a history teacher here at the Ridge, and this is what he had to say about Ms. Figarelli. Um, back in that time, she was, um, she was my best bowler. But besides that, um, they went to the state tournament, uh, the girls, her, and another group of girls that were on the weightlifting team. But um, she loved bowling, and she had a great attitude. Her parents always backed her. Um, she was great. We wish all the, our athletes were, were like that. To this day, Ms. Piccarelli continues to strike out every Thursday at the bowling alley with friends. WSRH Extra, I'm Naja Perez. Seminole Ridge is the home of the Hawks. But what about a little animal that has taken over the nest and history teacher of Mr. Gerber's heart? Extra reporter Jonathan Alvarez introduces the animal who's made a home for herself at the Ridge. For years now, Seminole Ridge High School teacher Mr. Gerfers has been taking care of a special friend on campus. Her name is Miss McGee. She's named after our original principal. If you don't know by now, Miss McGee is the cat that has been using Seminole Ridge as her home for the past couple of years. She has lived in the flower bed in front of the school under the principal's window for five years now. This little feline story did not start in the flower bed. Miss McGee was found in somewhere very interesting. She was um, one of a litter that, of three kittens that we found in the ticket booth. Mr. Gerfers, completely determined to take care for the cat, visits her while off the clock. He comes by mornings, afternoons, and evenings if he has to, to take care of her. He's here on holidays, weekends, he loves that cat, we all know it, and he really is really good with her. Not knowing her gender for a long period of time was only because of after two years, Miss McGee finally warmed up to Mr. Gerfers. It's a female. And uh, it took me a little while to confirm because I actually took care of her for two years before she'd let me touch her. If you were wondering if you could go visit the cat yourself, Mr. Griffiths warns you that she might not be too hospitable. The only other thing anybody needs to know is um, if you ever approach her, she's not going to let you touch her. And it's not personal. She doesn't let anybody touch her but me. And it's just because I'm the guy for four years who showed up and fed her every day. Hopefully more cats find a permanent home like this one. For WSRH Extra, I'm Jonathan Alvarez. Well, that's it for this episode of WSRH Extra. If you have any story ideas, please tweet us at Seminole Ridge TV. I'm Shannon O'Sullivan. And I'm Alexa Koenig. We leave you this week's Edits the Beat by Jimmy Toth and Jada Quinones.